For reading today, I need your notebooks out. Reading notebooks out. chart with this word written in there somewhere. You watched the video Friday about alliterations. And we're going to talk a little bit more about alliterations. So notebooks out. Turn to that page so you can add some information to it if you need to. See those notes. alliteration, what is happening? What kind of figurative language is that? Josh? Two more words have the same sound. Right. Two or more words have the same beginning sound. Now, notice it says sounds. It's not necessarily the letters because do all letters, if it starts that word, necessarily make that same sound? Not always, right? A TH is going to be different than just a T. Okay? But a K and a C make the same sound, right? So if I look at this one, here, this C should be red. The crowned king can't rule with a carrot. Sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? But we've got a lot of this, the cuss sound, right? Are they all C's? No. no. Okay, but they all make the same sound. Okay, the K's and the C's. Here's another one. Mary made muffins. All the M, the M mm sound. Uh, the pretty pony paraded through the pumpkin patch. Again, this should be red. Yep. Okay. All the same sound. The tornado tossed the truck on the tree. Here you have the word the. Oh, look, I see all the T's. But do these does make the same sound as them other ones? No. But this is still alliteration because of the tornado tossed truck tree. What are some examples you wrote down? Give me some examples. Sean? Those are rhyming words. So look at where are all these sounds at? The same beginning sound. I'm not looking for rhyming words. I'm looking for the same beginning sound. So beginning sounds. The beginning of the word. Give me an example. Mary made muffins. Sally. What's the Sally saw seashells by the seashore? How's that saying go? Sally sells seashells. There you go. Sally sells. There you go. There's another one. Peter Piper picked a pack of peppers or pickles. Those are alliterations. What's another one? And here's some examples. What did you write down? You should have written some down in your book. Josh. Nope, that's not alliteration. Beginning sounds, guys. Crowned king can't rule with the carrot. The S's. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. It's all the s. Sean? I think this one might have been in the video. Whisper words of wisdom. There you go. I'll say it one more time real loud. Whisper words of wisdom. Whisper words of wisdom, which that might also be another type of figurative language, huh? But it's alliteration as well. Good. Yeah, I think that one was in the video. That could have been in the video, which is what you're supposed to write down. Give me some more. Looking in our notebooks. Should have written some down. If you didn't, I'd be writing some down. Writing them down if I didn't. Same beginning sounds. I'll give you a second. Write them down. And then I want you to think of one of your own. One of 
your own. It's another one. Riker? Kobe can't shoot. Kobe can't shoot. All right. We got two, right? I think we said two or more. Preferably more. Give me another one. Maya? Cotton candy clouds. Mm-hmm. Cotton candy clouds. One more. John. This is one more time. He can't bake a cake. I'm not getting a lot of the same beginning sounds there. We have can't and cake, but we need a few more than that. Like Jacob jumped jack o' lanterns. Wow. Right? Um, let's see. Juliana could jump jack o' lanterns, or June, right? Juliana, June, and Jacob jumped over the jack o' lanterns. All kinds of J's in there. Jackson. Yeah. Got a lot of J names in here, don't we? Uh, you got one Josh. <laughs> John. <laughs> Goodness, we got J's on special in here. All right. So, alliteration is what? One more time. There you go. Caden can't consume cake. That's a good one. It had all kinds of the C's in the beginning. So, same beginning sounds. There's not rhyming. It has nothing to do with rhyming. It just has those same beginning sounds, which kind of, if you notice, it's kind of giving it a rhythm, right? Mary made muffins. Caden can't, what'd you say? Caden can't consume cake. Okay, kind of gives it a rhythm, but it's not rhyming. The other one you did was onomatopoeia. It's a fun word to say, right? So this funny sounding word happens to go with sounds. Words that make their own sounds. Like crash. Crash with the waves on the shore. Or splash. She jumped into the pool. Tick tock, tick tock, right? Sound of a clock. When the clock in the hallway, I should say went the clock in the hallway. The flood water gushed. Here it happens to be a verb, but it's still a word that's making its sound. Through the town. And I got one more. My teeth chattered as I stood in the snow. So chattered, again, it's the verb in the sentence but it's still that sound, a word that makes it sound, okay? Some other ones, Wyatt? Um, uh, Sam wants a Bam, yep, bam, boom. John? Kaboom, the world is gone. Kaboom, good. Riker? Splash, Kobe made a shot. Splash is up here, but I don't know that a basketball in a hoop is gonna go splash. <laughs> swoosh, it's gonna swoosh, yep, Maya. Oh, good. Cha-ching. Sean? Boom went the firework. Boom went the firework. Yep. Wyatt? I don't know if this counts. Let's try it. Um, boo went the crowd. Boo went the crowd. I don't see why not. I think so. The crowd goes right? boo-hoo. <laughs> boo <-hoo. laughs> okay. So this one isn't too bad. What's alliteration? Let's go back to that one. This one we were struggling with. What's alliteration, Josh? Uh, uh, Shh, listening. Two or more words have the same beginning sound. Yeah, two or more. And usually those two or more words, you have to have them at least together. Okay? So crowned king can't. That would be an alliteration. Mary made muffins. Pretty pony paraded. Okay? Here you have tornado tossed the truck. So there should be, they should be somewhat together and not a bunch of words just sprinkled throughout a sentence, okay? But it's the same sounds. Are they rhyming? No. No, I need eyes up here. Are they rhyming? No. No, they're not rhyming. What do they have in common? Same beginning what do they have in common, John? Same beginning sound. Same beginning sound. They don't have to be the same letter. We see that here. King and can't don't start with the same letter, but they have the same sound. Okay, questions on alliteration or onomatopoeia? No, we're good? Okay, let me get out of this. Oh, are we doing the rest tomorrow? 
we've got one tomorrow and then I've got two on Wednesday. So we'll do, I think, idioms tomorrow. And then we have adages and proverbs Wednesday, I believe. I'll have to double check, but I think that's how I have it laid out. All right. So you have, once I get it pulled up here, in reading, gentlemen, down in figurative language. Where is it at? There it is. Alliteration onomatopoeia worksheet. Let's look at those. Let's preview it here and see what we got going on. So you are selecting alliterations. What are which ones are alliterations? So you got eight questions. Which one's not an onomatopoeia? Okay. So here you're matching the onomatopoeia sound to this type of sound okay what would be the correct sound that that would make what would make the most sense so like we said splash wasn't really for a basketball right when do we hear splash in the pool. pool right jumping in the pool jumping in the lake okay basketball going in the hoop is swoosh so make sure the sound word makes sense with the sound being made okay so you're answering those questions for reading today and then make sure you're reading 15 minutes you have a what, book report due in December? Well,